Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, Grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the, the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. 
Thus says the Lord, I know their works and their thoughts, and they come to gather nations of every language. They shall come and see my glory. I will set a sign among them. From them, I will send fugitives to the nations, to Tarshish, Put and Lud, Mosok, to Baal and Javan, to the distant coastlands that have never heard of my fame or seen my glory. And they shall proclaim my glory among the nations. They shall bring all your brothers and sisters from all the nations as an offering to the Lord. On horses and in chariots, in carts, upon mules and dromedaries. To Jerusalem, my holy mountain, says the Lord. Just as the Israelites bring their offering to the house of the Lord in clean vessels. Some of these I will take as priests and Levites, says the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify Him, all you peoples. For steadfast is his kindness toward us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, you have forgotten the exhortation addressed to you as children. My son, do not disdain the discipline of the Lord or lose heart when reproved by him. For whom the Lord loves, he disciplines. He scourges every son he acknowledges. Endure your trials as discipline. God treats you as sons. For what son is there whom his father does not discipline? At the time, all discipline seems a cause not for joy but for pain. Yet later, it brings the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who are trained by it. So strengthen your drooping hands and your weak knees make straight paths for your feet that what is lame may not be disjointed but healed the word of the lord thanks be to god please all stand I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus passed through towns and villages, teaching as he went and making his way to Jerusalem. Someone asked him, Lord, Will only a few people be saved? He answered, Strive to enter through the narrow gate. For many, I tell you, will attempt to enter, but will not be strong enough. After the master of the house has arisen and locked the door, then will you stand outside knocking and saying, Lord, open the door for us. He will say to you in reply, I do not know where you are from. And you will say, We ate and drank in your company and you taught in our streets. Then he will say to you, I do not know where you are from. Depart from me, all you evildoers. And there will be wailing and grinding of teeth when you see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and you yourselves cast out. And people will come from the east and the west, and from the north and the south, and will recline at table in the kingdom of God. For behold, some are last who will be first, and some are first who will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we thank God who has gathered us as one community of faith on this 21st Sunday in ordinary time. And we thank the Lord for good health. We thank the Lord for this opportunity to listen to His Word, to be renewed by His body and blood, and to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Kaya, pasasalamat po lagi sa Panginoon. Our readings for this Sunday are very, very rich. But they focus on salvation. Pagliligtas. The question addressed to Jesus was, Lord, Will only a few people be saved? Kaunti ba lang ang maliligtas? At siguro karugtong nun eh, ako kaya ay makakasama doon sa maliligtas? So let us reflect on this based on the three readings. First lesson. In the first reading from the prophet Isaiah, and also affirmed in the gospel for today, we see that the will of God is to invite all the nations, all peoples, to His kingdom. Ang gusto ng Diyos, anyayahan ang lahat ng mga bansa ang lahat ng tao sa kanyang paghahari. Ibig sabihin, ang gusto ng Diyos, makapiling niya lahat. Maligtas ang lahat. Yan ang gusto ng Panginoon. And we thank God for that. That God's love, 
God's invitation, God's calling, and God's offer of salvation is given to all the nations, to all peoples, kasama na tayo. Kaya po, wag tayong mapanghusga. Baka yung hinuhusgahan natin, noho, ay sabi nga ni Jesus, magula tayo mauna pa sa paghahari ng Diyos. Kasi ang Diyos sa kanyang misteryosong pamamaraan ay nagbibigay ng habag at awa. God wills that everyone be saved. Ang tawag nga po dito, the universal call to salvation. Kaya naman, sabi ng Salmo Responsorio, tayo naman will go to all the world to proclaim the good news. Binubuksan ng Diyos ang pintuan ng pag niya para sa lahat. At tayo na nakapakinig na kay Jesus, tayo naman pumunta sa lahat ng tao para ipahayag na sila ay inaanyayahan ng Panginoon. So this is the first lesson. The second lesson is this. Di ba ho, in, even in ordinary life, may mag sa iyo. Nasa iyo na kung tatanggapin mo yung imbitasyon o hindi. God wills that all of us be saved. God invites all of us to salvation. Pero malaya ang bawat isa para sabihin, Sige, gusto ko pumunta dyan. O kaya sabihin, eh, ayoko, may iba akong lakad. No matter how God opens the doors to everyone, our response is crucial. Our responsibility is fundamental. Our freedom is essential. May responsibilidad tayo. Tatanggapin mo ba yung imbitasyon? Papasok ba tayo sa kanyang pag o hindi? Merong sinasabi si Jesus, dalawang bagay po. How do we enter the kingdom of God? First, strive to enter the narrow gate. Pumasok ka sa, sa daan na makipot. E di, nasa isip agad natin, naku, ibig sabihin yan, mahirap, difficulties. Totoo po yan. Pero pwede ko malaman, ilan sa inyo ang estudyante? Ilan ang estudyante? How many of your students? Naku, wala nang nag-aaral dito. Ah, ayun, meron pala. Ah, students, okay. Ano yung goal mo? makatapos yun ang daan mo para makatapos meron kang daan mamimili ka manonood ba ng sine o mag-aaral aral syempre sarado ang gate ng pagsisine Naku, maganda yung ano eh, mga chat-chat namin eh. eh. Pero may exam ako bukas eh. Anong pipiliin mo? Mag-aaral sa exam o mag-chat-chat-chat-chat-chat-chat-chat-chat ka hanggang first period ng klase? Mag-aaral ako. Sarado ang daan ng chat-chat-chat-chat. Magbabayad ako para sa school eh. Ganito. Eh gusto kong bumili nung sapatos na kumikinang kinang. Mamimili ka. Yung bang pag-aaral ko o yung pagporma? Pag-aaral, sarado ang gate ng pagporma. Sarado ka ng sarado ng ibang gate. Kumikipot ang iyong gate. Pero makakapasa ka.
O kaya, sino po sa inyo ang magulang, parents? How many are parents here? O ayan, marami. Siyempre, gusto ninyo may magandang buhay ang inyong pamilya. Yun ang inyong goal. Eh marami nga no, no? <laughs> eh gusto ko sana mag-shopping araw-araw para naman na no. <laughs> mag ako. Mamili ka. Ikabubuhay ng pamilya mo o yung mag-shopping-shopping ka? Yung pamilya ko, okay. Yung shopping ko, sarado muna yung gate na yan. Gusto kong magpalaiposaksyon para mukha naman akong 26 anyos. Eh magmamatrikula ang anak mo eh. Mamili ka, laiposaksyon o yung iyong... Yung matrikula ng anak ko, o sarado na muna yung gate na yan ng, ng laiposaksyon. You choose and you eliminate many things and the gate becomes narrow but you reach your goal to reach the kingdom of god we should eliminate the open paths no to corruption no to greed no to injustice no to falsehood No to discrimination. Lahat yan isasara ko. Ang matitira na gate. Pure love. Pure love. It is narrow. But it is all what we need. Love. And you close all the other paths that are against love. Narrow gate. At yung pumapasok dyan sa makipot na daan, makipot dahil iisa lang, pag-ibig lang, makipot man yung daan, ang puso mo malawak. Pero yung papasok sa corruption, greed, injustice, lies, ang puso niyan lumiliit nang lumiliit. The narrower the gate is, the bigger your heart is. And that's the path, our responsibility to the kingdom. The Lord opens the doors of the kingdom to all of us. Our response, will we go, but make sure you take the narrow path and the narrow path expands the human heart to welcome God and to welcome other people. Please all stand. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We may never come to God's table relying on our own merits, yet we respond with faith to his invitation to all peoples to enter his kingdom. With that humility, let us offer our prayers. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for all members of the Holy Church of God, that through suffering and endurance, they may come to the feast of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the governments of the nations, that they will respect religious freedom and allow their people to hear Christ's invitation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have lost a desire for the things of heaven, that they may regain the fervor of faith and the joy of the sacraments. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all gathered at this Eucharistic altar, that we may finally come to take our place at the feast in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the dead, that they may find eternal life in Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. Lord and Father of all peoples, we make these prayers in faith seeking to respond to the invitation of your Son, our only Savior, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, Bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an eternal share in the Paschal mystery. 
and so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy that you, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, and my, my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
will stand. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perf perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Unang-una po ay maraming salamat sa inyong lahat sa pagpunta ngayong umaga dito sa Manila Cathedral at sa pagdalo sa ating banal na misa. Maraming salamat din po sa mga kasama natin sa pamamagitan ng live streaming ng misang ito sa iba't ibang mga social media platforms na nagbabahagi ng ating misa lalo na po sa mga kasama natin sa DWIZ IZ TV. Salamat din po sa ating mga Manila Cathedral servants, staff, at sa nag-provide ng ating sign language interpretation sa kanilang paglilingkod sa atin sa misang ito. Maraming salamat po. At higit sa lahat, nagpapasalamat po tayo sa namuno sa ating banal na pagdiriwang ang ating minamahal na si Cardinal Chito Tagle. Cardinal, maraming salamat po. Thank you for always visiting the Manila Cathedral when you are in the Philippines. And thank you for blessing us with your presence today. Mapalad po kami dahil nakasama at nakapagdiwang tayo ng sama-sama ng banal na misa sa inyong pamumuno. At salamat din po sa family ni Cardinal Chito na kasama natin ngayon, ang kanyang mga magulang at ang kanyang kapatid. Ang mga magulang po ni Cardinal, si Tatay Maning at si Nanay Mila ay magdiriwang ng kanilang 66th wedding anniversary. Kaya ngayon pa lang ay binabati po natin sila ng happy anniversary. Sa paglabas niyo po ng Manila Cathedral ay makakatanggap kayo mula sa ating mga kapatid mula sa uh, uh, The Feast ng free copy of The Feast magazine, yun pong dating Kerigma magazine at ng flyer na naglalaman ng kanilang 2023 devotionals katulad po nung Didake, Gabay, Sabbath at Companion mga malaking tulong po sa ating buhay kristyano at sa pagdinilay natin sa salita ng Diyos. Ang mga devotionals po ito na publish ng The Feast Books ay available po sa ating Casa Benedicto Manila Cathedral Souvenir Shop simula po ngayong September. Maraming salamat po sa inyong suporta. At muli po maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Let us now stand to receive the final blessing. Salamat, Father Reggie, Father Kali, at sa inyo pong lahat. Maraming maraming salamat po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you in His kindness and pour out saving wisdom upon you. Amen. Amen. May He nourish you always with the teachings of the faith and make you persevere in holy deeds. Amen. May He turn your steps towards Himself and show you the path of charity and peace. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh, no.